we now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh yeah, holy matrimony. We're getting Lydica, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Damona. Welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today is the moment that I've been waiting for, and they did not disappoint. We're going to be talking about your girl, Lydica. If you guys have not seen the patch video, stop the video right now. Go watch that patch video. We talked about some changes that they made, major changes that you guys might be unsure about. And then come back and watch this video, okay? And watch this video. But today, guys, I know you guys probably hyped. I know you guys excited. I know you probably broke after the tambourine changes and the Luna changes. But listen, I need you guys to listen to what I'm saying here. Lydica is a beast. She's going to be a cornerstone in PvP for Guild Wars. Okay, Huge, huge. Potentially even Arena once we get her stats. Um, she's going to be huge for Guild Wars, huge for Golem 11, guys. She's going to be a staple on the Golem 11 team. And when I explain to you guys why, you guys will understand, or hopefully understand. And if you don't, rewatch the video and just hit the like button over and over and over and over and over again, okay? <laughs> on different accounts, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Lydica. So uh, she's a hot tempered fencer, a uh, hot tempered fencer uh, of Phantom, of the Phantom CSC chasing the unknown. Um, now the big thing here is, uh, she was expelled from the Rose Apostles. Um, she joined the Phantom CIC to investigate the land of death. Um, she wanted to defeat the unknown and instill faith unto others. However, her rough personality still causes problems with the Phantom CIC. Lydica is also a Virgo, aka the, the, the stuff that we're getting this week. Um, that means, you know, I'm a Taurus, she's a Virgo, we're compatible, we like long walks on the beach, great conversations, a little bit of sarcasm. <laughs> But she was born to cause trouble all over the place, okay? Uh, Command 85, Charm 41, Politics 88, right? So let's talk a little bit about Lydica. Uh, and I really want to talk to you guys about her abilities. Um, so the big thing here, guys, is Wild Rose is uh, her skill 1. Now, she attacks with a sword decreasing combat readiness by 10%. If the enemy is debuffed, com uh, it decreases combat readiness by an additional 10. So what you're looking at is 20% combat readiness. And again, we don't know what the skill ups are, so that could may that could may well be um, even higher than that. But we're just going to have to wait and see exactly what that increase is going to be. I don't anticipate there being more combat readiness increase, or excuse me, uh, decrease, combat readiness decrease. Um... But who knows? It could just be a flat damage decrease, like percentage damage decrease, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, her second skill, now I know, um, oh, they actually fixed it. So it's an active. It used to say passive. It was a bug when we first saw this. Um, but she attacks uh, all enemies with an 85% chance to decrease hit chance for one turn. Now, listen, guys, um, I don't know how that's how that's going to how that's gonna be either. I don't know if they're going to increase the hit chance or however they're going to do this. But blind, basically. The low eyeball is one of the most overlooked harmful effects in the game. A lot of people really don't pay attention to how much damage the enemy like loses if they miss A and B. Like I know you guys have fought ML ML Cartuya, so picture that. So she's applying this effect, and then for those of you guys who want to pair her with ML Cartuya, uh, this is a huge, huge combo opportunity. Okay, um, especially if you guys don't have Arbiter Vildred, who also I think he's one of the other only other units in the game uh, that applies this AOE chance to miss i think there's three i think there's somebody else i can't it might be bail but i can't remember um but yeah this is huge um so when you got the aoe especially with such a low cooldown like this is crazy good especially with soul burn ignoring effect resistance this could be huge huge in a lot of different uh, uh a lot of different situations so like in pvp uh in your arena comps in your guild wars comps and your golem 11 compositions because if you apply glancing to the golem and he misses can't be stunned <laughs> so uh this is just one of those things and it causes reduced damage it can also be good on a lot of those floors um for instance like those bomb floors that you guys are struggling with um in the abyss uh applying the aoe chance to miss at the right time especially when those mushrooms are getting ready to explode could be the difference between you living and your team dying so that's a really really big deal um, her third skill. Now, this is a big thing because um, she has basically brought to the table her own like skill, like her own buff. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, she attacks the enemy with a whip sword and decreases combat readiness by 100 percent. So she basically takes that little bar. So let's say and this is why I said like she's really good in Golem. And, or against pretty much any boss for that matter where you can apply combat readiness decrease. And she takes it from wherever it's at 
reduces it to zero, okay, and decreases the enemy speed. So imagine reducing the combat readiness to zero, so you're denying the turn, so turn denial. Then she cuts her speed down by a certain percent, things like 30% or 50% or something like that. Um, and so basically slows them, slows the rate down that the bar actually fills up while reducing it to zero. So if you were to position her in a team, basically like a golem team, if you position her correctly, the golem is never going to get a turn, period. Outside of counterattacking your team, uh, which you can mitigate with her chance to miss on her skill too, it's not really much you're worried about. Apply attack break, defense break, any other harmful effects that you need, and you can just smash the golem le legit into the ground, okay? Literally into the ground. And you don't have to worry about much, right? As long as your team, again, again is fast enough and you're able to take care of what you need to take care of. So this is a really, 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 really big deal, okay? So the other crazy part about this is she, gan she grants the caster skill nullifier for one turn. I want to talk a little bit, bit about this. Um, this is an unsure thing right now. Um, but the basics of this skill is it prevents um, her receiving damage from enemy skills. So let me explain to you what that means. So she takes damage from basic attacks, okay? Uh, if I understand this correctly, is if you basic attack her, she still is infl you, you can still apply damage. But if you use skill 2s, skill 3s, anything other than a basic attack skill, she receives literally no damage until um, until it's either one turn or uh, somebody told me on the on the on the the Twitch chat that the Korean translation was until uh, she got hit with the skill right or something so we're gonna have to wait and see i don't know if that's a if that's one turn or if it's she gets hit by a skill we're just gonna have to wait and see which one is which uh so we'll just assume one turn so basically one full turn rotation until she goes again um she can't receive damage from skills so basically let's say for instance you use this in a situation where you know you went you know all out um she popped this ability now she's immune to skill damage and the enemy tries to do all their AOEs or whatever the hell, and it they they forget that Lydica does that to herself. Um, you're basically invulnerable <laughs> to skills. But if they basic attack her, well, you could have a, another problem on your hands. But outside of that, like it's really really strong. Okay, it's really really strong, and that's why I think her positioning overall is going to be really really good in a lot of different situations in the game. Uh, Lydica is a super duper strong hero. Like I said, real, real, real strong pick for Golem. You can use her in the Abyss. Um, you can absolutely use her in all PvP uh, situations. Um, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say I would use her in like a Wyvern 11 comp uh, because of the simple fact that you can't apply combat readiness decrease to the boss, basically rendering her kit useless. Now, the chance to miss could be good and, um, you know, all that other jazz, but outside of that, I just don't see it because even the skill nullifier. The Wyvern's not really using skills. He's basic attacking you the whole time anyway. Uh, granted, she's not really going to get hit outside of your frontliner, but I just feel like there are probably other choices uh, than her instead of, you know, this particular unit for Wyvern. Now, Golem, on the other hand, money in the bank. Let's talk about it. Raids, money in the bank. Imagine using this on Queen and reducing the Queen's attack bar to zero, and she's fast enough to basically prevent the Queen from getting a turn. I just want you to soak that in. Glancing on the ads to the so the ads can't hit you or apply harmful effects. Just soak that in for a second. Just soak it in. It's crazy. Now, with that being said, I didn't really talk about our card too much. Like we just kind of went over it in the last video. But her card is legit. Um, she's actually one of the heroes that, with her card, the Sword of Judgment, uh, placing that card on her would make her a absolute monster. And the reason being is because you got a 20% chance to attack again with a basic attack if the target survives a single attack. Um, can only be used uh, or only be activated once per turn. But I want you to think about your enemy, right? Let's say you're fighting the giant, okay, or the golem. Uh, you hit her, you know, your skills are on cooldown. You use skill one, right? You, you reduce his combat readiness by 20% because he's already got harmful effects. And since he's still alive, she's going to go again, reduce it by another 20%. Okay, boom, turn one again, you know. Wraps around, she gets a couple more turns, you know, let's say it pops two more times, you got the 40%, you know, lockdown, bing, bang, boom, then her third skill is up again, she pops it again, another 100% down, and then she's right back. Skill two again, AoE glancing, right, or AoE chance to miss, right, or area of effect, uh, basically meaning it hits multiple targets, and then bing, bang, boom, right back to skill one, and this is why I said with the positioning, like, you prepared with, like, a Shuri, um, she, ugh, listen, guys, listen, I'm gonna need y'all to go to church and pray. <laughs> The Church of Lydica, of course, and pray that you pull her 
and literally put her in your box because even if you're not using her right now, you're going to use her later on for your Golem 11 team if 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 and when you decide to build like. I'm ready. I'm like, all right, Golem 11, I got it. We're going to go in there. We're going to get some better health items for Ken. I'm going to go ahead and get some attack sets. You know, we're we going to get it popping. <laughs> but anyway guys um just want to take a little bit of time and, and talk about her if you guys are curious about how to build her um i you know build her like a st standard damage deal you can put her on speed sets you can put her on crit full crit you can put her on crit damage you can put her on life steal you can put her on whatever you want she's going to be good on a on a whole variety of hunter cards depending on what you want to do i say if you're going to run dual hunters run another hunter with infinity basket or rosa uh she could be really 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 busted uh, especially if you have her card equipped on her as well or if you have her with the highest attack and you got a spirit weaver in front when idols cheer boosting her attack uh boosting her combat readiness so she gets even more turns yo she's gonna be nasty so uh, i'd recommend Either spit, uh, spit, <laughs> speed, speed boots, crit damage neck, and attack percent ring, or you could run her crit rate or crit damage neck with double attack. It's it's entirely up to you, but I think she's gonna be an absolute monster. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy Damon talking about my girl Lydica, who's finally here. Hopefully, you guys pull her when the patch drops here in a few hours. And with that being said, y'all, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.